Hi guys, it's Tammy. I'm your Wino Arts and Crafts instructor at Indian Creek Winery. And today we are going to make our garden lanterns. Aren't they pretty? So first we're going to cut the wine bottle. So here we go. So the supplies that you're going to need to cut the wine bottles. One, you'll need a bottle scorer. I got this guy at Hobby Lobby and I've seen them at other craft stores like Michael's. Uh, so you'll also need obviously a bottle of some sort. Uh, if you're using a used bottle, just make sure it's nice and clean. You get all the adhesive and all the paper off. You will need a candle. A small tea light candle will work. Uh, this is just what I had hanging around, so this will work too. And then you'll need a bucket of ice water, nice and cold. Put our goggles on because you might have explosions. Probably not, but you never know. Okay, this is where we take our bottle scorer. And you can see how I have my angle, it's almost 90 degrees, just a little bit wider. And then you insert this part into the top of the bottle. And so what is important is that you only go around the bottle uh, one time. You don't want multiple score lines, uh, otherwise that kind of confuses where the weak point is in the bottle. So you just want one crack, one score line. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna apply firm pressure. I wanna try to keep still and keep it very even as we go around. You can hear a lovely grinding sound. The etching glass sound. Okay, we have our nice etched line around the bottle. This is where we might get a little messy, probably not, but just in case, put a towel down, get out your candle, your ice water bucket, and we're going to weaken the score line. We're going to go around it for about three minutes. You can hear it sizzling and cracking a little bit. You're going to get a nice char line. Okay, once you have a solid char line around your score line, and it's been a couple of minutes, it's time to dunk your bottle into the ice water. It just popped right off. Inside your craft kit, you'll find your pre-cut wine bottle and cute little cup here with bling and a marker and a paintbrush, some twine and your little light. So let's set all of that aside. Um, so right now you're going to need your glue and tissue paper. So to decoupage, Basically to mod podge tissue paper onto your bottle. Okay, here's the tissue paper. I'm going to grab your brush and then you'll need just a little bit of water. You wanna water down your glue just a little bit. So add just maybe about a teaspoon of water and then stir it up real well. I'm gonna thin it down. Does it need to be so thick? Okay, we're ready to go. So it's up to you if you want to leave the tape. Um, this just protects your hands and fingers from the sharp glass. Uh, if you really want to get into it, you can sand it down, but that requires another power tool, but it is doable. So we're going to start with the white tissue paper first. These are our aspen trees. You'll see on here how we layer with the aspen trees and then the green leaves and then the pink flowers. So grab your white tissue paper and we're just going to start applying those. You want to mix up your glue really well and it's super easy. It's just like painting them on. One thing is 
you want to be a little on the delicate side because the tissue paper does get kind of uh, watery and thin and could break. So just be delicate with it. And you're just going to apply the glue onto your bottle and then apply your tissue paper on top like so. And we're just going to lay it on. And then take your brush and delicately just pat more glue on top. So you're just going to repeat that around your bottle with all, of, not all of the white paper, but however you see fit. If you want more trees or less trees, it's really up to you. So we'll apply the glue first, paint it on, and then apply your tissue paper. Tissue paper. Can't play that for some reason. And then apply another layer of glue on top, your watered down glue. enough trees that I want to apply. Now you're going to start layering your leaves on. So grab your yellow and green leaves and you just want to sporadically kind of place them around your bottle. So same thing, apply your glue, apply your leaf, and then apply another layer on top. around the bottle. It's up to you whether you want just a few of them or if you want lots of pink flowers. I provided you guys with quite a few, so it's up to you. Hey, I think that's done. I think I applied as much pink and green and white. So you'll see I put these little metallic uh, pink dots, these guys, in your box. And so those I'm going to place on top of the pink flowers just to give it a little accent. So. Let's go like right there. Just add a nice little metallic pop. All right, guys, now, look, my bottle has dried. Look how pretty it is, woohoo. And to get that mosaic effect, we are going to use our Sharpie. And you're just going to go and outline all of your tissue paper. So I'm going to start off, I'll kind of show you how I do this. Pretty easy, you're just going to go around the outside It's up to you if you like the look of having it kind of more pastel, soft colors, and no um, black outline, then you can just leave it as it is. Have 
So here's what it's looking like so far, outlining. Um, I have a little tip for your aspen trees. So you can outline your aspen trees like so. And then if you want to add little touches like bark, you can go like this. So if you want to draw a little heart, imagine like a little knot. And then you can add a little whoop around it. Just kind of gives the impression of bark. And then you can add little details. Like it's a tree and there's a little... Okay, now it's time to add some bling. Grab your cup of bling. Woo! And <clears throat> your hot glue gun. <laughs> and just go to town. Okay, I blinged it out. How does it look? This gives it a little sparkle. Okay, so this is where your bottle comes to life. So grab your string light here. And I already pulled my little tab, but you'll see a little sticker tab that you pull out and then you can just turn it on from there. Ooh, pretty. And then stretch it out and grab your washer. This guy. And we're going to just put your string light through the washer like so, all the way until it gets to the end. And then, I'd say about like right there, just leave maybe half an inch, uh, and then wrap your guy around the box. Okay, and then I would leave about a foot and a half for the remainder. And you can wrap it around your finger, kind of loosely around your finger. Like so. And then try to pull it off if you can, if you didn't wrap it too tight, like I might have. <laughs> okay, now grab your twine. So try not to tie it in a knot. Just grab the end. String it through your washer like this, and then find your middle point. Let's say that's pretty close. Okay, and then you're just going to pinch it tight. You can twist it a couple times. And voila. This is what we're going to put inside the bottle. Okay, so grab the other end of your string, and this is what will poke through your bottle. There we go. And just pull it all the way through. And the washer prevents it from sticking out. And ooh, look at that, it's so pretty. <laughs> from here it's really up to you if you want to add any more beads you'll see that I provided you guys with some larger beads with holes um, you can add that to your bottle you just have to make sure to tie a knot around the beads and then you can tie a little loop that can be what you hold up with and then you can trim the rest of this guy off I don't think I have my scissors but and basically, that's it. There's our beautiful garden lantern made from a wine bottle and tissue paper. All right, thanks for joining me. See you next time.